Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to discuss about what is a lambda function in python, its significance, syntax with some simple examples. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in python an anonymous function means the function is without a name. So as we already know that the def keyword is used to define a normal function in python. So similarly, the lambda keyword is used to define the anonymous function in Python. So it has the following syntax as you can see. So this function can have any number of arguments, but only one expression, which is evaluated and then returned. We can use the lambda functions wherever the function objects are required. We need to keep in our mind that lambda function are syntactically restricted to a single expression. We can use any number of arguments, but only one expression we can use. So here is some simple example of a lambda function. In this example, we have added phi into our argument C. And then the print function is returning the result of the expression. Let me show you how to use a lambda function with some simple example. This is a Python command line. And today we are going to execute the lambda function. So for this, let's create one variable. So we will create a variable name a equal to and for defining one lambda function we have to use the word lambda and after that we have to give only one expression. So our expression will be x give colon x multiplied by 5. So this is a one expression that we have defined here. So after that hit enter. So as you can see, our a variable contains lambda function. So for executing this, just use the print command to print and then pass one argument in our lambda function. So we will pass 10 as an argument. So after we hit enter, as you can see, 10 has been submitted to our lambda function and it returns the result of the expression that we have defined. So in this case, the 10 value has been assigned to x and the result of 10 multiplied by 5 has been printed by using the print function. Now we need to understand what is the difference between the normal function and the lambda function. So for this, let's consider one example. So let's consider this example and we will try to understand the difference between the normal def defined function and the lambda function. So this is one program that will return the cube of a given value. So as we can see in the above example, both the cube function and the lambda cube function behave the same way. So let's analyze them little bit more. Here is the example in which we haven't used the lambda function. So the both of them return the cube of given number. But while using def, we need to define a function with a name cube and need to pass one value to it. So after execution, we also need to return the result from where the function was called using the return keyword. But on the other hand, lambda definition does not include a return statement. It always contain an expression that is returned. We can also put a lambda function anywhere a function is expected and we don't have to assign it to a variable at all. So this is the simplicity of the lambda function as you can see in this example. Our next topic is multiple arguments. So the lambda function can take any number of arguments. So here you can see in this example, we have passed two arguments namely a and b which are returning the result of the expression that we have defined. Let me show you with some example. For this example, we will create one variable named b use the assignment operator which is equal to sign and as usual use the lambda keyword lambda and now instead of giving one argument we will give two arguments namely y comma z and then we will define our one expression so in this expression we will add our arguments that we are passing so y plus z and then we will use the print function to pass our two arguments in the expression. So in this just use 
b and again in bracket we have to pass the two arguments here so one will be 10 and another will be 20 after hitting enter as you can see we are passing multiple arguments inside one expression so you might ask why we use the lambda functions so the power of lambda function will be better shown when we use it as an anonymous function inside another function so in this example as you can see a function definition which will take one argument and that argument will be multiplied with the unknown number so in this case we are passing one argument and we are multiplying it with the anonymous number so i hope you got the clear understanding what is a lambda function in python and what is the difference between a normal function and a lambda function why we are using it with some simple examples if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates